Hey everyone, we're live at the Pace Studio in New York right now with Calliope Musicals. Thank you yeah. for being here. Hi. Yeah. This is great. You've sounded outstanding in sound check, so we're looking forward to sharing what you do with our audience on the internet right now. And uh, this is all going to be from Color Sweat, which is the current record. It's out in the world right now. And yeah. can you tell us what's coming up first? So if you buy our record, which you should, and you put it on your turntable and you set the needle down, it's going to go... I will not view this party. I will not doubt its power. My soul came straight from space. Place house behind this space. It's all. Great, thank you. Thanks. I wish everyone could see you in real life because you're so cute over there. I just cut to myself. That camera oh. is on me, so yeah. they can. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. It sounds great. This is a lot of sound compared to what normally happens in this room. Like a lot of people strip down and play it a little bit uh, uh, more intimate and more acoustic, and it sounds outstanding. I mean, the level in this room, and I have no doubt that the mix that Bob is sending out into the universe into the ether right now sounds even better but it sounds amazingly balanced for how much sound is happening in this room right now so thank you it must be all the good vibes the gods of rock are smiling upon us hopefully right now yeah that's right <laughs> that's right a lot of friendly yeah, ghosts yes. yeah so okay well can we talk about that a little bit can we talk about uh some of some of the the artists if so for the internet right now, if you don't know, all these tapes back here are, this is rock and roll history going back to 1953. The Ella Fitzgerald tape from Storyville in Boston is the oldest tape wow. back there. Um, and there's, you know, the ton of The Who and Rolling Stones and a lot of Laurel Canyon vibey stuff. Uh, can we talk about some of the artists that you have bonded over as a band and who you all agree rule? 
I spy talking heads. Oh, yeah. What talking heads tape is that? That is talking heads from the Heat Wave Festival in Canada in 19, early 80s. I want to say it was 82 or 83, maybe. And that's what the Pretenders tape is from. That's what fr- the Elvis Costello tape that's right next to it. Those are all yeah. from Heat Wave. Oh, yeah. there's a Robert Plant one straight from Austin, too. Yeah. There's yeah, dude. And there's a Stevie Ray next to, next to that from Austin, 1984. Wow. It's pretty cool. So I would... Yeah. That new Phil Collins. That was Dude, for I Josh's mom. I think my favorite, there's a whole other, there's two other rooms full of, full of these tapes, which you guys are more than welcome to go check out after, after this ends. Um, and the Tom Waits from 1977 at the Paradise Rock Club in Boston is outstanding. It's a one that wow. you need to listen to. You get to hang out and listen to these? Yeah. This was the job for a long time. We digitized all these oh tapes my and gosh. put them up on the website. Wow. How lucky. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but I mean, this part of the job, I enjoy interacting with live human beings quite a bit. Like this is this is really cool, and doing it in front of these tapes with all these family ghosts is like the coolest job there is. We've got bottles of wine, hanging out, music, and I don't know. This is a pretty good job. Well, it could be better. Yeah. Monday. Yes. Here. Well, happy Monday, and there is there are a lot of music happening. So there are three more songs from Color Sweat. Can you tell us what's coming up second? Yeah, this song's called Cosmic Poison Arrow. Um, Craig actually uh, wrote all the instrumentation for this song while we were in New York. Um, Just so. staying here for a residency. So yeah. Had a lot of time, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's New York bread, honestly. Right. So this one's for you, New York City.
That sounds great. Thanks. Can uh, so we know a little bit about the songwriting? At least some of this album was written in New York City. Yeah. Um, can we talk about the production of it? Did you? Is this uh, an Austin centric effort? Was it Austin musicians produced in it at an Austin studio, etc.? Yeah, we recorded at the Bubble with Frenchie Smith. He's a total hero. He's the invisible member of our band <laughs> here in spirit. Um, Frenchie is like a legend. He's a rock and roll wizard sent on the earth to just bring the best possible vibes to everybody. Bring joy and destroy. It's good stuff. Nice. Yeah. So how how complete of uh, of songs do you bring to him when you when you bring him into the studio? Do you do a lot of work in the studio and develop it there, or is it uh, is it totally visualized the way you want it to be and you just go in and execute, or how does that work? It kind of varies. I mean, like like I said with that song, Craig had written it start to finish, and then. Frenchie like helped us with lyrics and like, per, like the like nuances of production. <laughs> yes, you're so cool. Um, and uh, then with other songs, you know, they're way more fleshed out, and then some of them are like not at all. You know, we're like still figuring it out. So um, it kind of varies, you know, song to song. Fear This Body was uh, like the first song that we actually recorded. The first song that we played uh, was the first one that we tracked for this album. Um, and it was like fairly close, but he definitely like Emerald Agassi bammed it for us. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I think that it is a composite of a lot of really good decisions. I was listening to Color Sweat over the weekend uh, almost nonstop. I was listening to Foy Vance and, and your band all weekend, and I enjoyed it very, very much. And uh, it sounds it's translating really particularly well to this room. So thanks for, yeah. for coming and doing it. Thanks. Yeah. Um, uh, so there's a third and a fourth song happening. Can you tell yeah. us what's going to happen third? Uh-oh, you better say your prayers, because this is the title track, Color Sweat. We didn't ask permission to do this one, so I hope the building can handle it. Oh, no.
Yeah, this would not be complete without the Jerry Bomb, and there it is. Man, thank you guys for coming and doing this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, uh, you have, you got a night off tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so what what is going to happen? What's going on with your night off in New York? Are you going to go... Best die, do or die. Yeah, all right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Joe's picked out a neighborhood. He's moving in. Yeah. So that's where I moved to when I moved here. Oh, yeah. A little yeah. dog in a fur coat earlier, so I guess that's his thing. Um. I heard that bean burritos were things. I mean, I was very much wanting to talk about Mexican food as it relates to where you're from and where we are right now. Well, I mean, New York is like the capital for a lot of things in the entire world. But Mexican slices. food, it's like, it's fine, but it's not like okay. it is in California or like it is in Austin. So when I was a kid, my family would go to Taco Bell. And There's a Taco Bell cantina across the street where you can get booze and a taco. The best bean burrito I've ever had. Yeah. I use the bathroom. Like <laughs> yeah. Um... I, when he went to the bathroom, I was like, we are sponsored by Taco Bell. (laughs) And I gave him one of our gift cards and I was like, bring me back a bean burrito. And he did. And they heated up the tortilla, which I feel like is a lost art in Taco Bells across the country. But like they grilled it or like they microwaved it? No, it it was like, there's some color to it. It was perfect. All right. And I was like, this is why I fell in love with Taco Bell in the first place. (laughs) And it really took me back to like 1995 in the back of the Buick Saber, like getting fed a bean burrito by my sister because I couldn't hold it because it would go everywhere. Outstanding. Yeah. yeah. So, so my hopes of a, of a uh, Mexican food connoisseurship conversation have gone straight out the goddamn no, window. No. However, I'm happy to talk about the nostalgia of Taco Bell because nobody it's, doesn't like Taco it's, Bell. It's, it's not good. That we don't appreciate yeah. <laughs> legitimate Tex Mex and legitimate actual like central. Interior Mexican. Um, yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, interior Mexican food. It's more that you got to do what you got to do whenever you're, you gotta uh, do you're it. not in the <laughs> homeland, realistically. You know? <laughs> Tacos must be had. Burritos must be had. That yeah, is true. we one time filled out a survey for in Austin, and it was like, kind of like, oh, like, questions. Who's your favorite Austin artist? Blah, blah, blah. Who's your favorite taco in town? And I said, cheesy gordita crunch. <laughs> and I think that's like when we lost a lot of steam that we had picked up. We were like, <laughs> we were going so strong moment. until I said that was my favorite taco. And now I'm in, in Austin jail. <laughs> well, I was kidding. Is- my favorite taco is the taco lady on, if you're in Austin, Pleasant Valley, Cesar Chavez. There's an orange taco truck. Right behind the Bail Bonds office. Right behind the Bell Bonds Sec- office. Yeah, yeah. And there's Vera Cruz on Cesar Chavez for their vegetarian taco. Whenever we go to uh, uh, to Austin, we always stay at uh, like Cesar Chavez, like four blocks down from, it's like Chacon and Cesar uh-huh. Chavez, yeah. Yeah. which I think that's right by that, Yeah, isn't it's it? very close. That's right by where we live. Off like Morgan or something like that down there just south of it's good. Well, there are men, there's good options. You're going to be uh, on the Lower East Side. You're playing uh, as part of the Mondo NYC event. It's, I think it starts today. I'm pretty sure it's all week long. But you guys are playing tomorrow night at Pianos at 8 o'clock. Um, Mexican food options abound. Essex Taqueria is right oh, there. Wow. Please go eat there. It's outstanding. Cool. Yeah. Do they have dollar slices of pizza? <laughs> They've got, yeah. <laughs> They've got it all. There's, a, there's like a block from me. There's a two bros just up the, up the street from here. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Profit yeah, margins have to just tacos, be, yeah. yeah. We're in the wrong razor business. thin. <laughs> um, and then Buffalo the night after that on Wednesday night. You're in Toronto the night after that, and the whole thing, all of, of the announced shows. I'm sure many, many more will be announced. Um, but the last one that's on the books right now is an is a hometown show at the Horror Disco on Halloween night. Yes. So enjoy all of those and travel yeah. safely between all of them as well. Thank you, Brad. Thank you. Yeah, and more more music. There's a fourth and final song from Color Sweat. Yeah. Um, this song is one that I wrote about, uh, while I was like swimming in Barton Springs. And I think this cool thing about swimming is it's so like you're in the water, you're full of life, but at any moment you could take one big breath and you could die. And that's what this song is about.
Yes. This all sounded great. Thank you for coming and sharing the music with us today. And have a great show at the Mondo NYC Showcase tomorrow night at Pianos. That's at 8 o'clock. And all of the shows. Enjoy all of them. They're all up at calliopemusicals.com. And uh, cheers, everyone. Cheers, honey. This has been outstanding. Thanks for the wine. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Um, yeah, travels. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jerry Bomb. All right, and best of luck on Color Sweat. That's out in the world. Thanks for the music from it today. Thank you. Bye. All right.